I want to show you how to chicken foot, turkey foot, um, or whatever you might want to call it, a base that you want to be closed with no gaps whatsoever. Um, different patterns will have you line up your reed and you will line it up according to the patterns. Um, this is the base of an Easter basket that I'm going to be closing up. And this one, the spokes are going to chicken foot to the outside of the basket. So you can see I've got the wrong side facing up. And so that's going to be the inside when everything gets folded up. But what you're going to do to go to the outside is you're going to flip it over. So the right side is facing out. So you've got these pieces here now. And these are all the shorter pieces. They're going to be your chicken foot pieces. And they're going to come in and go to the outside of the basket. So there'll be like a little fancy, little fancy pattern of sorts on the outside on the bottom. So what you're going to do is right here at the spoke, at the outside spoke here, you're going to spray these right where they're going to bend against it. It should be fairly wet from, from what you just did making your base, but you spray them a little bit more and you're going to bend each one of them over. These are a little longer than they need to be, but it's better safe than sorry. I go ahead and bend all mine first to make sure they're tight against there and I know I have the right amount. You can see I've packed them all together so there's no spaces. And once you do this, you don't wanna do any more packing. So make sure it's good and tight when you start. I can actually move the towel now that I've soaked up most of the wetness. So these are gonna go into, they're gonna come around this first spoke here and they're actually gonna go um, behind the second one here. So what you can do is cut these, that they are probably right at the end of where that spoke ends, you're gonna cut them about the same length. So you just go through and you cut each one about the, the width of that spoke. Don't go past it too much because try to go a little bit shorter than, than it is. Um, that way it won't, it won't show as much when you go to tuck them inside. <clears throat> so you cut all those down to the width of that second spoke coming in these pieces and then what you're going to do and I kind of turn my basket oops missed that one this way to help me see it a little bit better to start with and what you're going to do is these pieces right here you're going to split them you just, all you have to do is snip in the middle as close to the middle as you can get again I'm not a perfectionist so you know it is what it is but just snip them in the middle and then if you just split them they will go like that. You can see I'm not a perfectionist, so I really am okay that they don't, you know, are exactly the same way or whatever. If you are, just take more time. But what these are going to do are going to actually kind of go like this. And that's where I get the chicken foot idea from because it kind of looks like a, you know, a chicken foot. And the two, one on the ends are going to only be under this by themselves. The other ones are going to share like with their neighbors. So they're going to kind of spread apart like that. So this one's the easy one. You just kind of slide it under. And when you slide it under, if you see it sticking out up here, you can, you know, cut it off. That's why I said to cut it just a hair shorter than this one here. This one, what I find is going under the second one here, I lift it, I take a flat piece or an awl, and I tuck it in behind. And then as I'm pushing this piece in, I kind of remove it. Now this one's gonna share. So the one to the left will go over here to this one. And this one you can kind of, you know, just make it fit that they crisscross. And you can see it makes like a V this way. And then this one's going to go to the new one over here. This one will come and share its little spot. So now you can see they're, you know, the two different spokes are coming from, or two different spokes are coming from two different angles into behind this one. This one's going to go into a new one. you need to get it in there and again I cut them just just narrow enough that they shouldn't be popping through the other side so you shouldn't see them and then this is the last one and it just tucks under that one by itself so there's your and you can press them down uh, to make sure they're good and tight but you can see that little fancy just a fancy kind of edging type of thing that will be on your base I'll show you one more time with the other side just as a review Take the short ones that you're gonna chicken foot. Just kind of snip the in the middle of the spoke or as close as you can get. You don't have to cut far because 
once you're done, you just kind of split them. And we'll give you your two pieces. And then this one, again, you're gonna to go to that second one. Oops, I've adjusted a little bit. You're gonna to go to that second one, it's gonna tuck under. This one's gonna go behind the second one on this side. So you can see how it kind of makes like a V, a victory. This, the first one here on the left is gonna go over to the left and share that spot. And sometimes they're a little booger to get in, but that's okay. You just keep manipulating your awl or whatever you're using until it's in there where you want it. This one comes to the right and goes to the spoke to the right. The one on the left here and these two, it's gonna go to the left. Right. One more for this one. Some have much more of these that you do along the side. This is just a fairly short side, so not too many of them. And then the final one goes under this last one all by itself. Push them in there pretty good. That's chicken foot into the outside. Now, when I go to start again, I'm going to have to make sure that I turn it over so I'm back on the wrong side. You can see it wraps around here, but you don't see the design on the inside. Um, some baskets you do design on the inside. Um, I don't know if there's any reason for it, more for, you know, looks. But that was chicken footing on the outside. So the base, this will be the base of the basket, and that's what the base will look like. Just a little fancier. And I'm getting ready now to twine. <laughs>